Welcome to your UA Light Celestial Insight. Hello, dear Geminis. So the stars and the cards indicate that you're experiencing a deeply spiritual and meditative month, okay? One full of contemplation and wisdom, okay? And the cosmic energy is super mystical and dynamic in this way, where we're in retrograde season, experiencing eight planets retrograde, and also two full moons and a new moon in Leo, right, that are personally affecting you continuing to come into deep divine wisdom this month and for that reason dear gemini's your message from the stars and cards is so clear and short and sweet this month the major cosmic energies that are playing a role in this process of alchemy and divine wisdom for you this month are the full moons in your ninth house um and your 10th houses and also the transits through virgo in your fourth house and jupiter and uranus in your 12th house where these are all houses of deep spiritual and historical and ancient cultural wisdoms okay and they're linked here in the cards so clearly with the hermit and queen of cups showing up as your overall energy okay that is connected to the virgo transits the moons and also your spiritual guides and the divine mother transmitting supportive wisdom to you this month and the temperance and ten of swords cards are here as the challenge and they're also connected to jupiter and uranus in that 12th house okay and so Overall, the astrology indicates that your past and present experiences with family, groups, your living environments, and any daily educational or travel experiences this month are playing out in a way of continuing to help you learn spiritual wisdoms and transmute and make peace with past pain so that you go forward as the deeply creative wise one that you are okay so before going into the specifics of how this correlates with the cards i'll share the psychic stream of messages that I got for you that also really just synthesize much of what the cards are about here. So um, when I pulled your cards, immediately I just got the messages detox, drink more water. Um, Also that some of you may be hiking this month or spending time in nature and generally water, clean eating, sweating, meditation, creative art, all of these will be so, so um, key for your health this month, right? Um, And that if you feel called to do any of these, it's really a part of a higher sort of spiritual process of metaphysically alchemizing trauma and karma on various levels, okay? That is the sort of higher spiritual understanding of if you feel called to do any of these this month, Um, because that is what is happening, right? That is what the divine is urging you to do. And even cosmically, it's a part of this sort of higher spiritual process for metaphysically alchemizing trauma and karma on various levels. Given that the South Node is now in Libra in that fifth house, right? Um, of the inner child and of creativity, right? Um, where, you know, it is absolutely about alchemizing trauma and karma, okay? And then receiving deep wisdom, right? Through that process um, from pain, right? There's also this message that I got Uh, And it may mean something for, for many of you. It says, you can't hide the truth forever. So that is a message from the divine for some of you who need to know this, um, that the truth won't be hidden forever. The truth will be coming to the light for something. I also got this message, um, that, and this was the exact phrase. It says, what happened to you did and did not happen to others okay and there's a really special reason that it is phrased that way and i will explain okay um so 
The Virgo transits and this Pisces full moon conjunct Saturn at the end of the month really indicate you finding wisdom and emotional support from um, anything that you're learning from even a wise person or persons or some sort of institution, but also feeling increased deep wisdom and understanding within yourself, right? Realizing the depth of wisdom that you have from your own experience and journey, okay? And this is specific, specifically related to family um, situations, colleague or work associate situations, or any situations related to your place within your career industry. Um, and I'm getting that this is related to any experiences of not fitting in or some feeling or even an experience of being excommunicated in some sort. And I'm getting that from this three of pentacles in the past position. Right. There's something here about not fitting into circles and groups. And that is also a message that I have gotten overall for your 2023 message about a particular wound that um, is up for the Gemini Collective to heal this year. OK. And so, again, this overall energy from the Hermit plus the Queen of Cups is about that wisdom, being meditative, turning inward. The challenge is the temperance plus the Ten of Swords. Again, this process of. Uh, alchemy. And then the mid-month and new moon and Leo messages is four of cups, right? Which is all about meditation um, and it being linked to unforeseen uh, insight even, right? Through any sort of meditative or creative process or you spending time again in nature or in some yeah, just some space that is really spiritually nurturing for you. Or just the spiritual space in general, right? There's and again, all of these come together to just really streamline this message that this is the month of you really trying to reconcile the higher meaning and positive gains from pain, right? Maybe learning about suffering experiences of others um, or seeing some indication of your unique value and wisdom in comparison to someone else may help you reconcile this this month, right? Um, and this is where I got that message what happened to you did, but also did not happen to others, okay? And it's linked to this nine of wands, okay? And it's about this message that, of like the nine of wands in general is about this space of coming to the end of hardship and sort of reconciling everything that you've learned up until this point and using that as a space of deep personal power to bring certain things through to closure or to resolve, whether that is uh, something physical or material that you're working on, but or even just creative and spiritually within yourself, this process of alchemy, okay? And so this nine of wands as a sort of overall and end of the month message for you is about how what you do with your knowledge being something that can free others, okay? That is this overall message for you. What you do with your knowledge can free others. And then this, everything that I'm about to say right here, it was psychically channeled. It's something that you need to hear, okay? And, and it's linked to this message about what happened to you did and did not happen to others. Okay, so Spirit is saying that you need to understand that we don't just descend here to operate as people who only ask for blessings and other things from the divine to help us get through life. That is a purely one directional and transactional idea and way of relating to the divine, to the gods, and the celestial realms and our higher self, okay? By operating that way, you're also unconsciously feeding an idea that you are not a multidimensional entity who is one with the divine and who also descended to the 3D realm to have experiences that contribute to the Akash, to the Akasha, to the realm of all knowledge. You're Gemini, that's what you're here to do. So 
this is coming up because you need to understand that that is your duty as a Gemini. And especially in this moment where the collective is being asked to raise their consciousness and completely transform the ego identity-based framework for understanding their sense of self and for understanding humanity and transforming that into a multidimensional and cosmic framework of identity. And so there is this divine instruction that you have to do that. You have to complete this process within yourself. And so you have to dissolve that framework within yourself by coming to sort of understand the unproductive ways that you may be personalizing your painful experiences. Okay. And that is when that message came in. What has happened to you has happened to others. While it also has not happened to others. Okay. There is a uniqueness of your experience, but there is also not a uniqueness to your experience in terms of the plight of what it means to be a free thinker to have to go it alone, to have to have certain painful experiences that force you into aloneness and exclusion so that you can gain sacred knowledge that helps to free others from the matrix and from groupthink and that ultimately heals others. Okay, dear Geminis, that was a really specific message that the divine needed you to hear. And that is what this Nine of Wands card is all about. Okay, this needed to be transmitted to you in any sort of process of, of, of spiritual or even creative transformation that you're feeling is about the, the divine trying to urge you to Complete this process of alchemy and to let go of any pain, trauma, and karma from the past. Okay. Um, all right. So <laughs> I'm going to take a message. I mean, take a, take a quick beat, okay? Because even re-relaying that message after channeling it is, it's like I'm feel, I'm quite literally feeling that. And, and it is, it, looks and feels exactly like these nine of wands and four of cups um, sort of images that we have here for you, okay? All right, so the spiritual lesson for you is the sacrifice, okay? And so I'm going to read that for you, okay? And it ties it all together. The sacrifice means to make sacred. The sacrifice is an offering of gratitude made from the heart a feast of love prepared for spirit. In the olden days, sacrifices sometimes involved rituals in which blood was offered to the gods. For example, in the Bible, Yahweh preferred Abel's sacrifice of one of his lambs to Cain's offerings of vegetables and fruits. All right. In other cultures, spirit preferred our songs and our prayers as opposed to the blood of living beings. The sacrifice asks that you offer to spirit that which is most precious to you. Your offering will be sanctified and returned tenfold. You will be elevated to the altar at which you have been praying and meet the divine at the table with the heavenly feast. You are a welcome guest in this banquet. Your heart is the only worthy offering you can bring. Life has been generous with you in so many ways. Okay, and then our uh, advice card for you for this month is worth the wait. And it says, is something or someone not moving forward as fast as you would like? This card is here to reassure you, hold fast, be patient. The best things in life are worth waiting for. Okay, and this is absolutely related to um, the messages for 
the Gemini Collective that came out last month that also came out related to this Venus in Leo transit, okay, um, which is also being activated in transits this month in the astrology, okay, so um, definitely take a look or listen to the August astrology overview for additional spiritual and practical guidance to help you successfully navigate the month in addition to the uh, individualized Terascope message here on the channel and do a check in with your Venus, um, your Saturn and Capricorn and your Pluto and Aquarius readings here on the channel while these planets are retrograde, okay, and while they are still playing uh, a role in um, this deep spiritual alchemy that is happening for you, this deep mystical and spiritual process, all right? And um, you know, this month there's lots of mystical and creative energy, enlightenment, inner child healing, higher understanding, and increased synchronicities connected to the transits that really help you to gain clarity on a powerful direction forward pertaining to career and creative projects, collaborators, and, and how to relate to social groups, right? And so take alone time this month to be with all of the wisdom and inner transformation that you're experiencing all right we are going to wrap up your message with your angel number message that came out for you and the angel number message for the gemini collective this month is 331 okay and the number 331 is a blend of the master number 33 and the attributes of the number one, all right? And three is about the vibration of the ascended masters. It resonates with courage, forgiveness, skills, and talents, faith, hope, and charity, open-mindedness, self-expression, and communication, optimism, and enthusiasm, growth, and expansion. Master number 33 symbolizes the principle of guidance, compassion, blessings, the teacher of teachings, martyrdom, inspiration, honesty, bravery, and courage. When expressed to the fullest, master number 33 focuses upon the spiritual uplifting of humankind. I just want to take a moment to let you all know that I get these numbers right at the top of the message and I do not know exactly what the message will be. <laughs> I wait to read these angel number messages at the end. Um, so I am also finding out the ways that the angel number message resonates with the wisdom from the stars and the cards right along with you all. This is profound. <laughs> this is incredible. All right. Number one resonates with self-leadership and um, assertiveness, new beginnings and a fresh approach, motivation, and striving forward and making progress. Angel number one reminds us that we create our own realities with our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. Okay, so altogether, angel number 331 is a message from your angels that they are sending you positive energies and boosting your confidence levels. Okay, be sure to pay particular attention to your thoughts, ideas, and insights because they are giving you information about next steps to take along your spiritual path. Wow, <laughs> any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be well worth your while and you will be assisted in their undertaking. This number encourages you to stay positive and optimistic about your future and destiny. Trust that you are surrounded, supported, encouraged, and loved by the spiritual realm and universal energies. Your future looks so bright and prosperous, so get on with living your life with passion and enthusiasm. Serve your divine life purpose with confidence and self-belief, safe in the knowledge that you are on the right track. Maintain a light, bright, and loving heart and mind. And take bold steps while listening to the inner wisdom of your higher self and move forward fearlessly. Dear Gemini's, 
I hope that this aids your journey. Be sure to subscribe to UA Light YouTube and also the podcast. Um, support by liking this video and leaving some comments and positive reviews on the podcast and the YouTube in terms of what resonates with you. And share this light and insight with someone you love. Thank you for listening. Take good care of your hearts.